Hey guys, it's Adar Jerry, and of course we are here on Satisfactory again. We are just kind of slowly working on everything. It looks like we've got our limestone production going. Which means... Let this be the next thing. Yes. We can go ahead and grab this. Uh-oh. I must have a full inventory. Um. Of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back over here. To our hub. Everything's slowly building up, which is nice. This should be making plates. Yep. Alright. So this is our current upgrade. Okay, so... That one's not going to be all that hard to take care of, though. Anyhow, guys, you can start expecting to see um, Satisfactory more on Saturdays. And, of course, we're going to stick with Subnautica Sundays, guys, because that seems to be working out great. And, of course, Minecraft throughout the week. And then other games, you know, is my second and third videos. Because we know me, I like to put out two to three a day. So, <laughs> why God only knows why. Don't ask me. I just make the videos to entertain myself. <laughs> well, and you guys. So, <laughs> I know I'm strange. I apologize. Actually, no, I don't apologize for being weird. Y'all wouldn't be my audience if I wasn't weird. <laughs> uh, I have way too much fun, you guys. We are going to want to check on our fuel sources to make certain those are full. Alright, so we'll get our... We've got the iron plates being made. So we will want to crank these out, at least to the, let's see, uh, 150 that we need, we are at 23. Uh, we need 127 of these, so let's crank those out real fast. And the rest we can throw into plates. So we can get those thrown in there. Let's, let's go ahead and crank out biomass for our generators. And concrete, which we have the ability to do. We can kill that off. And then we will just have to get to the copper, which is no big deal. So let's go ahead and get this loaded up. Okay, so we've got those two done. So now we just need plates and wire. Go 
go ahead and throw these plates that are already produced into here. Okay, so we only need 10 more plates, so take nothing. Go ahead and... Okay, I was pretty certain it was up there. Let's go grab that portable miner so we can... If we don't have the other thing built yet, we can just grab that. Then we'll go build it. Um, although I think I might have to grab... Iron bars and iron... Plates, although I'm not sure. Copper's up here. Okay, so yeah, I was right. We didn't have that yet. Okay, so I do need the bars. But we can put the portable miner down here instead. Let it do its job. We equip our Xeno Zapper just in case, and let's gather some of this up so we can complete this next hub upgrade, get ourselves to the full upgrade, and start our milestones, guys. Anyhow, guys, please remember, if you're new to the channel, to subscribe, to smash that thumb till it's blue, and to throw the bell across the room to make it go ding da ding 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 so you can be notified of my next video. Also guys, if there's any kind of um, specific game that you want to see me make some um, no vocals music to, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Also, you can let me know in the comments below if there's any game you want to watch me play. Um, please remember I am saving up for my Oculus Rift, so we won't get to Five Nights at Freddy's VR and some other VR games that I have that are ready to go once I get that, so it's coming. Probably around Halloween time we'll get that one done, guys. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we can just drop that. I guess I should pick it up, huh? Okay, equip Xeno Zapper. Just a quick look around. You never know. Also, guys, due to the uranium ore being newly added, um, you kind of have to be careful now. <laughs> like, kind of really have to be careful now. Um, if you come across an ore that seems to be glowing and it tells you your radiation level is going up, get as far away from it as you can. It'll kill you and irradiate all your belongings. You won't be able to recollect them until you can um, deal with radiation. So, don't do that. <laughs> okay, let's... Now see, in my little world that, that I've got that's my own, right there was a, a uranium ore deposit. So, <laughs> it was a rough day that day. I was like, oh, let's go collect it. And died twice. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that should let you know how dangerous that one is, guys. But, um, yeah, once you can deal with nuclear power and nuclear items, then, yeah, you're totally fine. But, um, don't try it before then. <laughs> it's just safer. Okay, let's... Okay, that's what I And then these are iron deposits that are just above me, so I might as well grab some of this. Oh, I don't have the spaceport. Never mind. I go through that a lot too, guys, where I think I can grab it, and then I realize I just don't have the spaceport. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Ooh, green power slug. I need to get up there bad. There's got to be a way to get up there without having to build too much. Okay, so. I still need that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Get back here to our generators. I'm certain they've got fuel. Uh, let's take a look at our build menu real fast. Okay, we can't build anything further on that yet. 
Can't do the space elevator yet. Got that built. Um. Okay, so I know what I need to do now. Oh, I don't have the room for it there. No, I don't. Okay, so let's go ahead and green power side. I don't even have the ram yet. Sulfur we can ditch. Go ahead and get rid of those. We can store a couple of those. Because I don't need those on me currently. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this wire cranked out, guys. Drop down here, let's get some concrete cranked out so we can build foundations to get to places if we need to. Excellent. We can now finish out the wire. And I think that should Oh. Copper ore. I said I couldn't pick those up. Duh. Okay, let's get those back into production. Okay, so now. There we go, now we got our final upgrade, now we can access milestones. Congratulations. You have unlocked Here it comes. Analysis machine. Also our finalization machine. piece, that thing is so cool. Biomass burner, building, space elevator, equipment object scanner, equipment beacon, additional hand equipment slot. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. The ma'am. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Additionally, the man provides the opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R&D in exchange for appropriate rewards. Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and thus initiating project assembly. Good luck. All right. So let's take a look at that space elevator. Okay, we need 500, so we need 500 concrete, 250, 400, geez, 1500. Okay. Let's see how long we need. Let's go ahead and start with the personal storage milestone. Lots of collecting today. Hey. That works. Let's go ahead and throw the rest of these plates into it to finish that out. We can then do this. Oh, that's right. We found that coal yesterday. That that on the last video. That's right. So we'll have that ready for when we hit coal power. That'll be great. Coal power doesn't come for a few um, for a few milestones yet, guys. So that will be a couple of episodes down the road.
Anyhow, guys, I'm really glad that you guys enjoy my channel so much. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You're a great audience. You guys are probably the coolest. Um, we will have uh, another um, game card code giveaway in the next week. So stay on the lookout for that. It'll probably be tail end of one of my Minecraft videos, which is usual. So <laughs> do, please do stay tuned for that. Um, if it isn't attached to a Minecraft video, it will be its own separate video like I've had, like I've done several times before. So, you know, guys, to kind of keep your eyes up, it's coming. Um, we did hit over 4,000 views, guys. That's awesome. We're at 42 subscribers. We're working on that first 100 set. And we're getting there, you guys. We're doing great. So, let's keep up the good work. Keep up the view and pleasure. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I should not make videos first thing in the morning, I swear. <laughs> or maybe I should, since my sense of humor is better. <laughs> uh, probably wouldn't hurt. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have way too much fun, you guys. I have way too much fun. <laughs> uh, but I do it because you guys have so much fun watching. All right. Okay, so let's see what I have. Okay. That pretty much gives me everything I need for that. Okay, so I just need three more. That's not hard. One, two, three. Then we can do this. One, two, three. And there we go. So we got our first milestone, dude. Just give me personal storage size. Personal storage options have been provided. Yes. R&D inflated your pocket dimension and developed a personal storage box accessible in the build menu. What do I have in here that I don't need that? I don't need that yet. Don't need that yet. Organize. Okay, I'm gonna want that because that will help. But the other thing almost done with its analysis so we'll wait this one out it's only a few more seconds i think yeah more moments and that'll be done the man has completed its analysis The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fixed technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Now you guys see why I get so excited about those power slugs. They help you to overclock all your production and stuff. Um, oh, did we unlock a... Yay, we can make another one. Cool. That will help. All right, so um, as it's nighttime, guys, and we are getting a little long in the video, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. Again, please remember, if you're new to the video, to subscribe and all that. Ooh. We'll save you for the next video. And, okay, I love you guys. Bye.